Welcome to this video on the basic indefinite integral, also known as antiderivative. Here we're going to integrate the function that you can see here. And there's some basic rules of integration that you have to know to perform an antiderivative like this. The first rule is that integrals distribute in the additive sense. So if you're integrating function plus function, you can integrate each one of them separately. Another rule is that, is that if you're integrating a number times a function, here k represents any real number, that you can factor out that number k, whatever it happens to be. Another rule is that the integral of the function 1 over x is the natural log of the absolute value of x. Why is this the case? It's a very long story that we won't get into at this point in the course, but good to know. Also, if the power rule for integration is that if your power isn't negative 1, you can use this formula to integrate. And the last rule you need to know right now is that the antiderivative or integral of e to the x is itself, which is there some sense of reversing of the fact that the derivative of e to the x is also itself. With these rules in mind, let's take a look at this particular integral. The first thing that I can do is notice that this function is really the sum of six different functions. So I can distribute the integral and use the scalar multiplication rule, the one with the k in it, to factor out all the constant multipliers of those functions. Now what I've done is broken this integral up into six integrals, which I can then apply the rules on the right side of the page to each one. Here's me applying the rules. I highly recommend you hit pause and analyze every, every symbol in this mess. Hit pause now. Between here and here, there is a lot of algebraic simplification that went on, which is not shown in this video, but it's essentially middle school level mathematics. The thing that is worth noticing here is that the, the so-called constant of integration uh, it, I used a different letter for each one of the six different integrals here because each of the constants could be different. And when I collected all those constants at the very end of this, you'll notice where it says 5a plus 3b minus k and so on, is that I collected all those constants together and simply wrote them as plus c, meaning that the sum of all those constants would just itself be some other constant. So typically we just write plus c at the end once. And that is the answer to this problem, and that is how the basic antiderivative works.